what's up this video we're going to start a really epic build it's a uh, rick Gaines race boat called giddy up and this setup has a proline racing 630 something cubic inch engine we got a set of uh, twin precision 102 millimeter 102 millimeter <laughs> pro mod turbos yeah you got billet center sections billet wheels all that good stuff uh this thing is absolutely insane and what we're doing is getting rid of the water cooled manifolds because they're more of like a entry level turbo setup for boats i believe and there's a lot of people that still build custom headers that are water jacketed um, which is cool and uh, everything but it's a lot of work so what we're going to do is build some custom little shorty block cover headers upside down two and a quarter primaries three and a half uh, collector outlets to this uh, pro mod flange i'm going to cut off this t4 flange or t6 and the way this is designed is it has a 90 degree feed to the wastegate it, it doesn't work hardly at all and so we have to put a wastegate with aluminum flange on the charge pipe well two times in the last probably four passes it's blown the charge pipe off uh, broke the clamp ripped the pipe it we lost the carb hat one time it blew the carb hat let me show you hold on Here's the carburetor, it's a 1450 dome meter. It blew the carb hat, it broke a circle right here and blew the carb hat off of the carburetor. And we had a five inch V band right here. So it blew the carb hat, it was like five, 600 bucks, a hundred dollar aluminum V band, five inch, all the piping down to the intercooler, a blow off valve and wastegate. So I have a few things mocked up already for the other header. And I'm gonna start getting all that tacked up and get the turbo fitted over there. I left this one on, so we had it all taken apart. Uh, I put this one back on, that way I could kind of mimic it. We, we want the height to stay the same, but we're gonna roll the turbos into the center of the boat a little bit to, get, to keep the, uh, the rocking out of it, to kind of get the weight centered up in the boat. So. I'm going to get started on that. I'll put you on a little time lapse and we'll get some, maybe get some header tacked up and, and see what it looks like. So we have the head flange sitting on here. This flange looks like it may be a little tweaked out. So we're going to throw another nut on it, try to get it nice and true up, to, uh, up against the, the gasket there. These gaskets are so thick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them on during fitment. And so basically, <clears throat> and since the heads are offset each other, the thickness of a rod, making rod, this head is sitting forward farther than that one, the thickness of a connecting rod. I'm gonna shoot this head back just a little bit, like maybe half the thickness of a connecting rod so a big block, you know, the connecting rods this thick. It's probably got billet rods in it. And I'm going to use the valve cover as my level because the boat's sitting on the trailer right now still. It's probably leaning back. So I'm going to use, I'm going to try to level everything to this valve cover instead of trying to level everything to the ground, to the earth. So we're going to level everything to the valve cover, shoot this primary back a little bit, and then the other side, we'll shoot that primary forward a little bit. And here's that big old collector. We're gonna come in here like this, and the way the turbine housing sits, it's gonna have the turbo real far towards the outside of the boat. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to throw this 45 on there. That way the turbo inlet on the turbine housing will be over here and have the turbo over here, which we can cut, it looks like we can cut about an inch, inch and a quarter out of here to lower this down. And, and I think what we're gonna end up doing is not using a whole 45 before we have the V-band on there.
when you're building headers, there's just so much to take into account. You have to, you have to watch out for is uh, make sure you don't block a bolt hole. You have to make sure you're not going to block a spark plug hole. Make sure you're not gonna be burning up spark plug wires. You have to make sure you're gonna be able to get in this area right here to weld. So we got that on there. We're gonna flip this here. Just eyeball, I like to eyeball dead across here to the top of the valve cover. You want to be sure not to tack weld the collector inside here where you can't get a grinder very easy. Because the collector has to come off uh, one or two more times. It's kind of a lengthy process building headers. Getting them all tapped up makes it look like, oh man, headers just, you know, you can rip through some headers and you know, build some headers real quick. But once you start to go really welding them out, it's a, it's a pretty lengthy process. I'm gonna screw it up there. I need to tag it back here. Where I can get my cut off disc, cut the tack back off. This collector is actually kind of spread out a little too far. I really need to tighten it up because the the hole, the primary doesn't even fit in there real tight. It's like it needs to be pinched in the corners, the four corners a little tighter. Once I start getting more primaries on, I'm definitely have to shorten some of these long studs uh, because the head, Trying to trying to slip it on with a three inch stud, the collector is going to hit the hit the body of the boat a good bit. So they're so long because that that water cooled manifold was just solid thick, and they had to come out past that. That's looking pretty good now. I'm going to put another put another primary on it. Before I do anything else, try to hold the turbo up there. Got this little primary tacked up. Pretty sweet looking. So big, it's like a hot side for some people. Stack it in here. Make sure it still fits. All right, you kind of see that there. That primary in there. Maybe you can see it. That's pretty all right. so far.
I got the header tacked up, all, all the primaries built for Rick's boat. Uh, I'm gonna do a time lapse, weld the primaries out. Got the header kind of built, tacked up a little bit, I mean. Got a couple of the primaries tacked to the head flange and a couple tacked to the collector. Just trying to see, see if we're still kind of in the same area. I'll wheel the weld machine over here and give it a few tacks to hold it in place before I pull it off. Alright, got it tacked up enough, I can pull it off, pull it back over there to the bench, uh, tack it a few more times. All right, so what I've done here, I went ahead and welded the star in first this time before I welded the, uh, the primaries to the head flange because normally I will bolt my, my heat sink block up to the head flange with the collector on it and I'll put a, a purge, uh, purge plug like that in the collector, but the argon was leaking out of the center and welding the head flanges wasn't getting back purged all the way. So what I'm gonna try this time is, I left it all attacked. I attacked the four corners with the collector on, knocked the collector off, welded the star in. When you weld the star, then you weld down the sides a little bit. That way when you slip the collector back on, all four are welded together already, then you just weld around the collector's on there. But I'm gonna get the collector set back on there I'm gonna take it back over to the to the boat, tack it on, bring it back over here. Once I know it's in place, I will I'll be able to back purge it fully and weld all the head flange and around the collector completely back purged. The header is all the way welded out as far as what we're going to do to it so far. I cut this little straight piece off because we're not going to need it because we're going to put the 45 up here before we weld the Pro Mod flange on. So we're going to do that next. We're going to put the, the header on the back on the boat, mock up the 45, get the head or the uh, Pro Mod flange cut off of the old flange, the old turbo kit, so we can re uh, reuse it because they're like $150, $100. So we're gonna get that kind of mocked up, tacked up, probably get 45 tacked on, 
the Pro Mod flange tacked on good enough to hold that turbo because I think the turbo with the uh, with the down pipes around 60 pounds, 70 pounds, something like that. Somewhere around there. Maybe 50 pounds. It's heavy. Very heavy. Skip some of the boring stuff, cutting this old flange, this Pro Mod flange off the old housing or off the old turbo kit, I mean. I welded it to a T6 flange. Cut it off to save a little money and I've got, I, I trimmed a little out of this 45 like I talked about earlier and I'm gonna go ahead, I have this marked. This doesn't have to be marked because it's round. I'm gonna go ahead and tack these together uh, and hold it back up here and see if I can't hang one of those heavy turbos up here. This part is so exciting to me because there's so many things that could be wrong with just a few degrees of this 45 being off you can throw the whole the whole trajectory of the turbo off it excites me because if it's just dead on perfect Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. If it's not, it'll piss me off. But you're right, it looks pretty. I'm following these machine marks on this L, the Proline Racing Valve Cover. I can eyeball on the top of this. It looks, looks like it's gonna be real close. I just hope. I just hope the turbo will stay up there. Well, I hope them tacks are strong enough. This turbo is a monster. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. So, really, or maybe an inch, inch and a half too tall compared to the other turbo. But the other turbo looks more level with the boat really which we could do that in line with the boat in line with the boat they look up a little I guess they parallel with the engine but the engine leans back in the boat So I don't know. We'll let, we might let, we might call up old Ricky boy and let him decide how he wants him. But holy cow, this sucker right here looks great. Boy, look at that. Just look at it. I really enjoy looking at these back two primaries. How they hug each other right here. Look, there's a dust, piece of dust stuck down there. It's such a tight fit. Come around here to the front. These, this, this old turbo is way over here. And we talked about, I don't remember really talking to him about the height too much, more of wanting to, the turbos were like flopped way over here and we were wanting to roll them in. So I think we're about inch and a half, or two inches maybe even taller over here but we're for sure like shoot four inches farther inside but just look at those 102s 
I'm gonna stand, just stand by it real quick so you can grasp how big Pro Mod 102 is. I mean, this mullet is like super duper, like it's the real deal. And if you look at it next to this 102, I'd be afraid to stand next to this thing when it's running, when a small child gets sucked into here. I mean, that thing is just, I mean, I don't have little hands. This thing is like the real deal, all the way, thick. But I'm real happy with that, real happy with this header. Um, that's all I'm gonna do in this video because I was just really wanted to do a full video of building this side. I have to duplicate that side. I might not be, I might do, not do a full in-depth how to build a header for that side, but I'll have to, I'm gonna weld these two joints out and most likely I'm gonna have the wastegate about right here. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna 45 out of this, have the wastegate about right here and let the dump come and be next to this. That way the, the header can catch, the wastegate can catch some of the exhaust flow. So we'll do that on another video. Um, I just, like I said, I really wanted to get the turbo mounted for this one at least. There's a lot of time involved in this. Um, this, this size of a header is really, really neat, really cool to do. Um, like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Uh, I really appreciate everybody that's um, been asking questions and being involved with the videos. Um, like always, let me know what you want to see. I hope you guys enjoy these videos as much as I do making them. And uh, that's going to be about it. So, see ya.